Orleans. You can see New Orleans is right here southeast, and as I mentioned, it is heading northwest towards the Louisiana coast. Looks like it's going to get here by Sunday evening. All right, here is the latest track as of 4 a.m. Continue to intensify to a category two by later today, then a category three by tonight, and then they still have it up to a category four. 140 mile per hour sustained winds as we go into Sunday afternoon, and then making that turn and making landfall somewhere from Vermilion Bay to southeast Louisiana as we go into Sunday around seven o'clock. That'll uh, be give or take an hour or so, but that still looks like when we will see the center make landfall and then kind of slow down and rapidly weaken as it moves inland. Still a category one or two up towards Baton Rouge and then moving into southwest Mississippi here as we go into Monday afternoon and then by Monday evening it's finally north of Jackson. So it's going to be in the area of South Louisiana and southwest and southern Mississippi all Sunday night and into parts of Monday. So this is going to be one of those kind of events where it's going to event. unfortunately a lot of the worst of it is going to be happening at night, especially for our inland areas. And then by Wednesday, it's all the way up into Tennessee and Kentucky. All right, our surge forecast here, and I want to make sure these are the, uh, we're waiting for the Hurricane Center to make sure and give us the exact numbers on these things uh, to see if we do have an update. And uh, this is what we were thinking as of the 10 a.m., uh, 10 p.m. one last night. And I don't think it's going to change all that too much with the 4 a.m. And it is it's not going to change. So this is the same as the one last night. So 10 to 15 feet of storm surge is going to be the main issue down here for Terrebonne, Lafouche, Lower Jefferson, and the east bank, or excuse me, the west bank of Plaquemines. This is where the worst storm surge is going to be near and just to the east of that center as this pushes up into the low lying areas here. 7 to 11 feet uh, for the Plaquemines uh, Parish on the east bank up through St. Bernard Parish, coastal Mississippi, Hancock and Harrison County, 7 to 11 feet. Remember, you get that funneling effect here. We're still forecasting 4 to 7 feet in Lake Pontchartrain, 3 to 5 feet in Lake Maurepaw, and then once you get towards Morgan City and towards Vermilion Bay, Marsh Island, and points to the west of there, um, up until Pecan Island, you're looking at about uh, three to nine feet, anywhere between three to nine feet. So storm surge is going to be significant here. This is life threatening storm surge that will really start to come up throughout Sunday morning, but especially during the afternoon and going into the evening. High tide on Sunday is going to be in the morning hour, so it'll be uh, late tonight or late Sunday night into Monday morning is when high tide will be. So we'll continue to see our tides go up as that is moving on into landfall. Rainfall could also be a very big deal with um, Ida here. We're looking at perhaps a few areas of 15 inches and it's going to be near and just to the east of that center. We're also thinking maybe a widespread area of 10 inches. So we could be dealing with some flooding here, not only from storm surge coming in and storm surge coming into the lake, but also maybe river flooding, street flooding. Remember when this lake comes up or when both lake comes up, our North Shore River up in the Florida parishes, they can't drain into the lake effectively. So they rise uh, as the water backs up. So that could be an issue for some of our rivers. If you live along rivers, you need to be preparing for some flooding on the North Shore. Here's when some of those stronger winds could start to arrive across the area. This is tonight. This is uh, closer to let me back this up here. Uh, we're looking at right around midnight here, just seeing some tropical storm force winds, maybe 34, 40 miles an hour near the coast uh, near the mouth of the river, and then winds will steadily pick up as we go throughout Sunday morning. And then the worst of it's going to start to move into our coastal areas. We're talking Terrebonne Parish near the coast, Port Fouchon, Grand Isle, Plaquemines Parish by tomorrow afternoon. So by uh, late tonight, you need to be done. You need to be gone from down here. Remember, there are evacuations in order down here. So by tomorrow afternoon, the worst of it's moving in and the conditions will continue to go down hill as we go throughout Sunday afternoon, but especially Sunday evening into Sunday night for our inland area. So this is the current track. Notice it keeps that most intense wind core just to the east or excuse me, the west of New Orleans towards Baton Rouge, Morgan City, home of Thibodeau and up along the river parishes here. Uh, this is where the most intense part of the storm will be with the current forecast. But if we see any tracks or the shift track a little further to the east, we could see these in more intense winds move closer to New Orleans uh, and closer to the metro here. So that's something we definitely need to be watching for and preparing for uh, at this point. We're running out of time. 
And then as we go through uh, Monday uh, early in the morning hours, there it is lifting to the north. And then by Monday morning at sunrise, we're seeing the most intense part of the winds lift up into southwest Mississippi with still some very gusty winds uh, lingering across the area throughout Monday. So the most intense part is unfortunately going to be mainly Sunday night after dark. Uh, so here's what we're looking at with our maximum winds. These are the wind gusts that you could see on the high side. This is not going to be this strong the entire time, but at times the most intense part of the storm could produce winds of gusting over 140 miles per hour down here in Terrebonne Parish. Now as you move inland to home of Thibodeau, you're going to see a reduction in those winds because of friction from the land. We'll probably still see some gusts 100 to maybe up to 120 and we could see wind gusts up to 100 all the way to Baton Rouge. This could be a very significant event for Baton Rouge. So do not evacuate there. You will probably lose power if you go to Baton Rouge. For New Orleans, it just depends on how close that eye wall gets to us, that western eye wall, and uh, our, excuse me, eastern eye wall. And we could certainly see some wind gusts, perhaps. All right, I got my mic changed. Um, okay, so we're talking about this eye wall here. If we get in the eastern eye wall in New Orleans, uh, we could be dealing with winds 80 to perhaps 100 miles an hour. That is a possibility depending on how close the eye wall gets to the metro here. North Shore, same story from Hammond, Tangipo Parish. You could see some pretty significant winds, 70 to 80. That will certainly knock out some power as you get closer to St. Tammany, maybe more like 70, uh, 60 to 70. And then in Mississippi, we'll go with about uh, 50 to 60. That's with the current track. If this track shifts to the east any, we've got the most intense part part of this storm and the winds moving into our area uh, and we could see these numbers go up for parts of the North Shore and into New Orleans. So this is a big concern. Uh, it is possible that we're dealing with wind gusts over 100 miles an hour in New Orleans, depending on that final track. Now, when you look at our models here, our models do show that uh, as this comes on in, this is Sunday right around 7, 8 o'clock. There it is making landfall where you see these white colors. Those are going to be a major hurricane. Those are going to be wind gusts over 100 and about 15 miles per hour and it could be as strong as 140 near the coastal area. So notice Homa, Thibodeau, River Parishes. This could be a very destructive storm for you, not only with storm surge, but with winds as well. This is why we have mandatory evacuations uh, down here in the Bayou Parishes and for parts of the River Parishes. Now in New Orleans, as I mentioned, it's all going to be in this. I'm talking about the metro when I say New Orleans. It's all going to be about how close that center gets. The closer that center gets, the closer we get to that eye wall here. And notice it's going to be too close for comfort as we go into Monday night. I mean, we could see the worst part in New Orleans by uh, midnight to around 2 to 3 a.m. is with the current timing. So there you can see anywhere in the yellows could be wind gusts from 74 to about 110 miles an hour. That could very well be possible, especially on the west side of the metro. Think Kenner and going into St. Charles Parish. That's where we could see some very destructive winds. If that center ends up tracking closer to maybe Lafouche, maybe it goes into Lower Jefferson. It's possible that this still goes into Lower Jefferson. Even Plaquemines Parish is still a possibility for landfall. All this would shift and we'd see that axis of worst winds move closer to New Orleans and onto the North Shore. So if you're on the North Shore watching us, uh, there's a pretty good chance that you see some very strong winds by uh, late Sunday night into Monday morning. As you wake up, we could have a corridor of hurricane force wind gusts moving through Tangipahoa Parish, maybe even skirting parts of St. Tammany into Washington Parish. And this, of course, would cause power outages and things like that. Also for Baton Rouge, very strong winds. From Baton Rouge to New Orleans, you're going to see um, all the, the strong winds as well with as well with this path. And then there it is by uh, Monday afternoon into Monday evening. We'll start to see things wind down. It's still going to be breezy out of the south as this lifts to the north, but the worst of it will be winding down by Monday afternoon more than likely. So as we're looking at the intensity of this thing, we're still expecting it to rapidly intensify. It's moving over the warmest part of the Gulf right now. That loop current It's going to be moving over it all day today. 
Uh, that coupled with a relatively weak wind shear, not a whole lot of dry air. Uh, it's probably going to rapidly intensify. Now, as it gets closer to the coast, the National Hurricane Center has been talking about, there might be a little bit of dry air gets, uh, that gets into the system, and that could cap it off from strengthening beyond a Category 4. But at this point, whether it's a Cat 3, a Cat 4, or above, you're looking at a destructive storm that we really want people to uh, Heed those warnings and those evacuation orders. You got to get out if you've been evacuated to order or if you've been ordered to evacuate uh, simply because we could see some significant storm surge down there of about 10 to 15 uh, feet. So that's what we'll be watching. Another thing we're going to be watching that could um, impact this system and the intensity, and I don't want you to necessarily get hung up on this, is uh, the speed as it comes in, those shallower waters here, maybe it does some upwelling and that caps it off, but that's no guarantee. And I want to I want to talk about um, that really quick and the guarantee of what you're going to see and what you're not going to see. There is no guarantee at this point with this track. This storm can still make landfall in Vermilion Bay. It can make landfall in Terrebonne Parish. It can make landfall in Lafouche Parish. It can make landfall in Plaquemines Parish. It can make landfall close to St. Bernard Parish. Those are still possibilities. So I don't want you to look at this track and say, okay, we're safe in New Orleans. There's no guarantee that we do not see 100 plus mile per hour winds Sunday night into Monday. It's something you've got to prepare for. Now, if it takes this track, we may miss the most or the worst part in New Orleans, but there is no guarantee that happens. So if you're gambling on that, um, you're gambling that, yeah, you know, that you hope it stays to our west, but there, um, it might not. So it's still the cone of uncertainty exists for a reason. And that's why we're just saying if you're anywhere in southeast Louisiana, you really need to be preparing for a major hurricane strike by tomorrow uh, as late as tomorrow you know, afternoon going into Sunday night into early Monday morning. So that's what we're looking at with that. So if you're doing preparations today, we should be doing preparations today. I know a lot of people have already left. If you're leaving today, uh, there are going to be a few showers and storms around. You will have until tonight near the coast, um, to, you know, before you really need to be gone. But I know a lot of evacuation orders need just saying you need to be gone earlier than that. So just keep that in mind. Tropical storm force winds will probably start near the coastal areas in the mouth of the river closer to um, 1, 2, 3 a.m. tonight, and then they will steadily increase. The worst of it will start to move in by late tomorrow morning. The afternoon hours are going to be really rough tomorrow down along the coast and into Terrebonne and Lafouche, including over to St. Mary Parish for Morgan City. And then eventually it's going to spread up across the area as we go into Sunday evening and Sunday night. So this does look like it'll be an overnight event for a lot of people who are inland. So you need to be thinking of that. Are you prepared to spend a week without power? It's going to be hot after this thing passes. It's going to be in the 90s. It's going to be humid. It's going to be hot. This is not going to be like Zeta last year where we it was beautiful afterwards. We had a cold front. It was in the 50s. We are not going to get that. This is an August storm and uh, it is going to be hot and humid. You might not have power for an extended period of time and you need to think, am I prepared to do that? If you're trying to decide now to evacuate, if you're on the edge and you're thinking, do I want to think about that? Think about the power situation and if you can leave, just leave better safe than sorry. So that is the latest as of the 4 a.m. update. Of course, we will be right back here when we have the 7 a.m. advisory and we get our next track update at 10 a.m. And we are going to keep you uh, giving you frequent updates for the entirety and for the rest of uh, Ida's uh, life as it makes its way towards the Louisiana coast as we go in tomorrow. But we're going to go ahead and throw you back to regular programming. From Channel 4's Eyewitness News, this has been your local weather expert alert brought to you by Egan Insurance Agency. And I want to say to my ex, former fiancé,